Tobramycin ampule for nebulization is used to treat people with cystic fibrosis who have a lung infection with a bacteria called Pseudomonas aeruginosa. People with cystic fibrosis have thick mucus that can block the airways in their lungs, which can lead to breathing problems and infections. Tobramycin belongs to a class of drugs known as aminoglycoside antibiotics and works by stopping the growth of the bacteria in the lungs. This helps to decrease lung infections and damage, and improves breathing. The recommended daily dosage and the best time to take this medication will depend on your doctor's instructions. When using Tobramycin ampule for nebulization, it's important to follow the instructions carefully. This medication is used with a nebulizer machine that turns the solution into a mist for you to inhale. Children may need help from an adult to use it properly. Make sure to use the medication as directed by your doctor, usually every 12 hours for about 15 minutes each time. It's typically used for 28 days in a row, followed by 28 days without the medication, repeating this cycle until your doctor tells you to stop. Each ampoule of Tobramycin is for one-time use, and you should check it before use. The solution should be slightly yellow, and if it's cloudy, has particles in it, or has expired, you should not use it. Also, do not mix Tobramycin with any other medicines in the nebulizer. To get the best results, use this antibiotic at the same times every day. It's important to continue taking this medication until the full prescribed amount is finished, even if your symptoms go away. If your condition does not improve or worsens, be sure to tell your doctor. If you experience hoarseness or changes in your voice, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. However, it's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience signs of hearing damage, such as ringing or roaring sounds in the ears, hearing loss, dizziness, or signs of kidney problems, such as a change in the amount of urine, or if you experience chest tightness or wheezing. Although very rare, a serious allergic reaction to this drug is possible. Get medical help right away if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you experience any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember, if you are in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using Tobramycin ampule for nebulization, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have to aminoglycoside antibiotics such as gentamicin. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. It's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have had hearing problems, kidney problems, myasthenia gravis, or Parkinson's disease. Tobramycin may affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so it's important to let your healthcare professional know that you are using Tobramycin before receiving any immunizations or vaccinations. Before undergoing any surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, Tobramycin should only be used when clearly needed, as it may harm an unborn baby. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if inhaled Tobramycin passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without your doctor's approval. It's also important to note that other medications that may affect hearing could increase the risk of hearing loss if taken with tobramycin. Some affected drugs include amikacin, gentamicin, mannitol, among others. Always consult with your healthcare provider to ensure the safety and effectiveness of your medication. If you or someone else has taken too much Tobramycin ampule for nebulization and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. 
In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share this medication with others. Your doctor may also conduct some medical tests while you are using this medication, such as breathing tests, hearing tests, kidney function, and tobramycin levels. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of tobramycin ampule for nebulization, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular scheduled time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store the tobramycin ampule for nebulization in the refrigerator away from light. It can also be stored at room temperature for up to 28 days. Make sure to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of the medication, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Properly discard this product when it is expired, no longer needed, or if it has been stored at room temperature for more than 28 days. If you're unsure about how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.